four starts off on the low E string, third fret, and then the G string on the fourth fret, and the B string on the third fret. It's the same shape that we're using during the verses. The picking pattern still uses the same back and forth method between your low note and then but it is a little bit different, so I'll just play it very, very slowly for you. So we hit the high E open, and then we just go back. So you notice uh, if we ignore the low E string for a moment, it's so all together it sounds and we just walk this chord down so that the low E on the third fret is now on the second fret and then the ring finger on the G fourth we take off and we put our index finger on the second on the G but the picking pattern stays the exact same so again, we were here, we move this down, take this off, and add on the second fret. So far, all together, played slowly. some slight changes to the picking pattern for the next chord. We're going to change our hand position and move our index finger on the second fret of the A string, our middle finger on the second fret of the G string, and our ring finger on the third fret of the B string. And the picking pattern very slowly. just remove for the next chord our index finger off of the A string. So far for that little, for those two chords, sorry. Then the next chord is we go back to the low E string for the bass note and we remove our middle finger from the second fret G string. So all we have is a ring finger on the B string of the third fret, and it's the same picking pattern as the first two chords. So, so far, all together, we have Part two of the course, we play through and use the same picking pattern as the first four chords. So I'll play through those again. And this is where we see the change. It kind of wraps up the whole course. Instead of going to we go back to the first chord we learned, chord shape, but the picking pattern changes slightly. So I'll show you slowly. So again, same chord as the chord starts off, it's just the picking pattern has changed. And we walk it down just like we already learned 
So the low E is now on the second fret and the G string is now on the second fret. And we use that different picking pattern that I just showed you. Together played slowly. And this is the turnaround of the chorus. It's the easy part. We remove so we just have our middle finger on the B string of the third fret and we simply pluck. Then we end on the first chord shape of the chorus. Instead of playing the low E, we're going to pluck the open A. So again, as a reminder, we are here on the G string fourth fret and the B string third fret and we're plucking the open A with those two all together. So that part played all together. So playing part two very slowly all together